Did you know you can post to Instagram and Facebook at the same time from inside of Facebook? Stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how to do it with a little trick, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Your Digital Mindset, a channel devoted to the online entrepreneur, your mindset, and your online business. Okay, so when I first made this first video several months ago, you know, I was having a hard time finding a video that would show me how to do it. And then I got in there and learned how to do it. And then I got my certification. I'll show you real quick. I got my um, social media specialist right there back in April. You see right here, that's me, Ryan Dice signed it. You guys that are in digital marketing definitely know who Ryan Dice and digital marketer is, but I got a certification while we were during, doing that quarantine, even though I was already quarantined because I've been working from home for a decade. Either way, thought I'd make use of some special promotions that had going on and got certified on top of the 10 years of experience I got doing you know, social media marketing. So anyway, uh, you can post to Instagram from Facebook. And that's what's cool about it is you can have one piece of content and make it go over two platforms, which is really cool. You're trying to do some omni-channel, which is where you're your, uh, your marketing on multiple channels of social media, okay? So we're doing that with posting to Facebook and Instagram, but what we're gonna use is, inside of Facebook, is the Creator Studio, okay? So we go in here, and I'm gonna show you a little trick of how to use somebody else's, someone that you follow, someone's very popular, or even viral content, take that piece of content, share it so it's ethical, but you're also gonna get some recognition for yourself at the same time. So I'm gonna show you how to do that while I show you how to use the Creator Studio, okay? So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna go over to Ed Milet is, and I suggest you follow Ed Milet. It can be a life changer for many of you. He gives great advice, he's all about mindset as well. I'm all about, I'm big time followers of, of people that are all about mindset. Ed Milet, Tom Bilyeu of Impact Theory, um, several others, but either way, these two are my main ones. So you want to get something that you align with, something that's you know in line with your niche and your brand and that kind of thing. So when they do consume that piece of content, they're also your product or service or whatever you're promoting, that's in line with whatever they're watching or reading on a blog or whatever. So in this case, we're going to be sharing a YouTube video. This is pretty slick. I didn't know you could do this until about six, eight months ago. And I've been, like I said, I've been doing digital marketing for over a decade and I had no idea you could do this with this tool. So you go, you get the URL. Okay, so I got a, this video will change your life, Ed Milet. Okay, it's got like 200,000 views. So I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna plug that URL onto a place called Sniply, snip.ly. Okay, it's basically a link cloaker, that kind of thing. I'm gonna show you another one as well. But uh, Sniply is really slick because you can take that piece of content and then put your snip over that content. So you see my snip right here, your digital mindset, ready to earn money from home, start here now. Okay, so we copy that snip, put it in there, we're going to create a snip right there. Okay. Copy that. And when we plug this, I'll show you real quick in the browser. But when we plug it in the browser, if somebody were to be viewing this snip, this link, they're going to be seeing Ed's video. But underneath Ed's video, if you see back there, it's whatever you want them to be viewing next. So they watch the video and then they go, what's that? What's this? Ready to earn money from home? Oh, yeah, I want to do that. And they click on that and then boom, they're on your landing page, your opt in page your website, your affiliate offer, whatever it is you want them to consume after that video, whatever that content was, whether it be a podcast or a, a video or a blog, whatever. Whatever you share, either either while they're going to consume that piece of content. They might even say, I don't even want to consume the content. That's up to them. It's ethical because you tried to share the content. But underneath that content is your, you know, your goal, where you want people to end up. And you don't necessarily have to be making money from it. You can just be giving something away like I am. I'm giving an ebook away. But... It's a good way to get people in the top of your funnel, okay? It's good people to to become aware that you exist, okay? Um, well, they probably already know you exist, but it's definitely a good way to get people to opt in and get an email address, okay? We're trying to get email addresses so we can nurture relationships. That's what we're all trying to do, and it's a great way, taking that, grabbing a piece of very popular content, or even viral content, putting it in a link cloaker, which is Sniply, and then you, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna post it into our Creator Studio. So when you get back here to your Creator Studio, you're gonna click on the Instagram icon, okay? And you're gonna click on Instagram feed, and then you go in here, and then you'll put in, you'll you'll copy that link right there, and then you'll put a little, um, you know, little, little message. I just watched this awesome video. I think you'll enjoy it too. 
because really when it's all said and done, you're basically sharing the content because they might not clip on that, click on that snip. However, they might. Either way, you're sharing content. So that's what we're trying to do here and posting to Instagram and Facebook. We're trying to create some valuable content because the bottom line is that video is awesome. Anything to Ed Millett does pretty much is awesome. So I feel very confident in sharing that. And then if there's a byproduct of me getting an opt-in on my email list, that's great too, okay? But I'm providing value first. That's what this all is about. That's what this is all about, all right? I think you'll enjoy it too. I think you'll enjoy it too. What did you learn? Okay, and try to create some engagement as well, all right? And then uh, they'll, they'll click on that. Now, what I do is I create, because this is going to go to Facebook as well. You got to remember Facebook's format and Instagram's format is a little bit different. But what I do is I put a few little uh, dashes to bring my hashtags down to the bottom. So they're not all goobly goop up top on your Facebook post. It looks ugly. You want them to be clear that first few lines. So when the post comes up, it's just your message. You don't have a bunch of hashtags. That looks crazy. Um, you want to have a, you know, a good appearance. Okay. So you got to keep that in mind. So what I do is I create five or six lines down below the message, the greeting, so to speak. And then I go to here and here's the deal. I keep many, many groups of hashtags depending on the topic of whatever I'm posting or whatever I'm talking about. Okay. So I have like a work from home uh, group of hashtags, 30 hashtags and all and everything I've ever been taught and read. You need to use all the hashtags you can. So you can have 30. Okay. So you so I have sets of 30 hashtags depending on what I'm doing. I've got a couple of work from homes with different variations. Then I've got e-commerce, TikTok, social media itself, copywriting, uh, a little bit of happy at home, kind of people not really in any niche. They're just kind of sitting there like a bunch of folks are right now in quarantine going, what am I doing here? That's where they're right there. SEO and then more work from home and just doing business uh, in general. Either way, you can have a lot more or less, but either way, I keep a bunch, a bunch of chunks, so to speak. All right. So for this example, I would just do a, uh, just a, yeah, a great, you know, uh, Stay at home is really great because this is really good for folks just sitting there. Okay, so I might just go here, copy at this group right here, and stick this one in there. Okay, so those are all in there. And then what you do is you go down here and you'll pick a piece of content. Okay, and I'll just go find, and Instagram's going to want a nice picture. Okay, so it doesn't automatically, like in Facebook, it'll automatically load that image once you put the link in there. When you're posting from Instagram inside of Facebook in the Creator Studio, it doesn't automatically load a picture. You have to actually manually load that picture. So I'm going to go in here and find something fun has to do with like, you know, something inspirational because uh, here we go. Every morning we're born again. What we do today is what matters most. Let's throw that in there. Get my picture out of the way for a second. Okay, so we got a nice picture in there. I'm going to come down here and this is where you are posting to both places. You can post them at to separate times at the same time, but I like doing them at the same time. Okay, so it keeps it simple. Uh, but you can post them one in the morning, one in the afternoon on the same piece of content. Really cool. Uh, but I'm gonna do same time. And right now I'm really, really been doing a morning afternoon regimen. So I'm just gonna do, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do a live post and show it posting to both platforms and I'll, I'll end up pausing the video. But let's go ahead and go with, uh, let's go, it's 8.50. Let's go ahead and go with nine o'clock. So if I can go nine o'clock, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. and then I'll come over here. That's scheduled for today at 9 a.m. I'll come to move myself again. I'll click this here, schedule down here. This is this is where you're posting to, to uh, Instagram. I'm myself back down there. I'll do 9 a.m. Oh, 9 a.m. here. 9 a.m. Okay, then I'll come down here and I will post it. So then in 10 minutes, because that's you have to wait 10 minutes. It can't be automatic to both of them. It has to be a minimum of a 10 minute gap and posting it and it actually posted okay kind of i guess it's got to get in the queue either way that said we're going to do that and then i'm going to pause the video and come back once it posts okay all right it's nine o'clock so let's see what happened let's go over to let's go into our home page of okay so we're in your digital mindset in facebook let's have a look and let's see if that first post is there's my pin post we got a whole series just on that note i got a whole series on our facebook group if you haven't joined us Go over there and I got this whole series we did with over like a dozen videos of how to work from home. So, so if you just happened upon this video and trying to figure out this working from home thing, got a whole series there. It can really help you out from how to get it all worked out in your space to making money, what to promote, where to promote it, and all that good stuff. You can go check out this video series. Now, back to our subject is, and there's our post right there. Just watch this awesome video. I think you'll enjoy it too. What did you learn? See, boom. All right. And then watch this little trick. Remember, I showed you about the link. And they click on that link. 
just to give you a real world example of how it looks live. If somebody were to click on it in your social media group or page, boom, there's your video. So somebody went from there, went to the video to watch this awesome content, this, this piece of content with 200,000 views. So you know it's good stuff. And then behind it, as you as you well see, they click on the go, oh yeah, start earning money from home, click here. Now granted, they already knew about you from your Facebook group, but maybe they haven't finally opted in. So you don't have their email, you know, they're not, you're not feeding them, you know, personalized content around a certain niche. You're just kind of posting everything out there, kind of like posting on a billboard. Um, when they watch that piece of content that you've, you've got for a reason, you went and got that piece of viral content for a reason. And when you shared it, that should have something totally to do with what's your, what's behind it. You know, what, what your opt-in page is, what your niche is. And then when they do, boom, mine's all about mindset as well. That book is about mindset. So Ed talked about mindset in his video and that book is all about mindset. When they get inside in my funnel, this is the beginning of the funnel. It's all about mindset, mindset and obviously online entrepreneurship, selling things online, being an affiliate marketer. All right. So that's how you do that. And then there it is on Instagram as well. So I posted to both of them. As you saw, same time, one piece of content, one piece of content went on two platforms. Okay. Omni-channel marketing. Very cool. All right, if you got any questions, drop them down below. I make sure I answer all questions, all comments. I want to make sure you have all your questions answered. Like I said, I got certified now, so I'm a certified social media specialist. So if you need some help, I'd love to help you. If you want to join our family, we'd love to have you on our team as well. Click on that link below. We'll give you a big virtual hug, okay? Social distancing, but we'll give you a hug. All right, guys, Chaz here with yourdigitalmindset.com. I definitely hope to see you on the inside. Thanks a lot.